Hi, Tom here. So one of the major questions that most doctors are asking me regarding cruise ships, right, is how is my accommodation going to be like on cruise ships? So let me show you my accommodation on these cruise ships, right, on my cruise ship, so that you can have a look, you know. Now this is deck zero. And on this particular ship, my accommodation is on deck zero, right? That would be, you could say, the ground floor of the cruise ship. All right. And by the way, on, on this cruise ship, deck zero, is where the medical center is. And this is the medical center. And my accommodation is just next to the medical center. That's my cabin door. Very unassuming on the outside. Very humble looking on the outside. But on the inside. Here we go. Electric curtains. Living room. Lounge area. View to the sea. Stop! <laughs> That's not my cabin. No cruise ship doctor has ever had a cabin like this. Let's go back a little bit. There we go. And let's start again. That's more like it. That's my cabin. Nothing to write home about. But um, small and comfortable. We are inside the room. So my room is divided into two rooms. The living room. With my working desk. This is a corporate computer. Free internet, corporate internet, and by corporate internet, I mean there's no social media in there, so there's no Facebook, there's no YouTube, and stuff like that. That's my personal laptop. So if I want to connect myself on YouTube, for instance, I have to pay for um, what you call crew Wi-Fi. That's my sofa here, as you can see, a wonderful piece of antique. TV. Yeah, I'm busy watching the rugby series. The porthole has been closed since last night, because right now we're going through a storm. So, um, yeah, there's a guy who came last night and, and, and closed the portholes. So I guess once you're out of the storm, um, he's going to come back and reopen all the portholes. Yes, look, there's a lot of equipment in here. It's because I'm doing photography and uh, I'm using this space as my gym as well and that's why you see parallettes and gym equipments there and tripods and yoga mats and, 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 and boxing gear and all that stuff my fridge my little bar fridge
Lots of cupboard space. There is a safe in there. Yeah, I drink a lot of water. <laughs> Printer. My beloved stethoscopes. Yeah. The bathroom. <laughs> it's okay. Shower. The bedroom. There's two phones, so there's this phone here. And the phone in my office. As you can see, it's a long way from my office to my bedroom. <laughs> And of course, the corporate satellite phone. Another porthole here. I'm going to show you the view because I've shot another video with the view of the porthole before it was closed. So, uh, this is the view. Nice view there. There you go, I mean, you can see, I mean, that's beautiful, you know, the water, it's calming and, and, and relaxing, you know. But let me show you the room during the day, I mean, you know, direct sunlight makes such a big difference into the, into the room. I mean, look at that, you know. I mean, now the room is awash with sunlight, you know. The entire room is illuminated with light. Yeah. So that's, that's how my room and that's how my, 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 my little cabin looks like uh, during the day, you know. Lots of light because the portholes are open. And uh, yeah, let me show you the view now. You know, with, um, with the light of the day. All right, let me make it a bit darker there. I mean, look at that, you know, the ocean, the waves. I mean, the view is breathtaking, you know. So I'm just one meter above the water. It's as if I was jet skiing, you know. Yeah. That's it. So that's my cabin. That's a typical doctor's cabin on a cruise ship. I hope you enjoyed the tour. So now you know what the average accommodation for doctors on cruise ships looks like. But just some few points I'd like to mention to you. This is my accommodation on this cruise ship, right? And obviously accommodation is one important factor for doctors on deciding whether they want to work on a cruise ship or not. I have to tell you this. When you ask me, what's the accommodation like on cruise ship? It's, it's, a, it's, it's a very, very vague question and difficult question to answer. There are hundreds of cruise ships sailing the oceans. And there are many, many, many different types of accommodations because there are many, many, many different types of cruise ships. So your question on, on, on 
what's the accommodation like on cruise ships for doctors is a little bit like asking what are hotels like in America? It's a vague question. You have a multitude of different types of accommodations. And you've got all types of hotel rooms because there are all types of hotels from the most expensive and luxurious to the least expensive motels. The same thing applies on cruise ships. So to answer your question, what's accommodation like for doctors on cruise ships? There are many different cruise line companies and they all offer different types of accommodations for doctors. You've got your high-end, luxurious brands. You've got your mid-range type of cruise lines. And you've got your inexpensive type of cruise lines. But even then, the cruise line I'm working for right now has more than 20 cruise ships. And all these different cruise ships offer different types of accommodations for doctors. So on this, in this particular cruise line I'm working for, on this particular cruise ship, this is my accommodation. On some ships, the layout is a little bit different. So you see, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, uh, differences between accommodations, right? It's, it's, very, it's a very difficult question to answer, right? And then you have different types of doctors. Some cruise ships have only one doctor. Other cruise ships have two doctors, like these cruise ships I mean right now, there are two doctors, the ship doctor and the senior ship doctor which is yours truly on this ship. <laughs> and, and the two doctors have different types of accommodation. My colleague, the cruise ship doctor, has got a smaller cabin than this one. On some other ships, you know, the very large ships, you even have three doctors on some cruise lines, right? You've got your ship doctor, your senior ship doctor and your chief doctor. And these three doctors might have different types of accommodations. So, I mean, you see, that's, 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 these are the differences between, between, uh, between accommodations for doctors, you know, and that's why it's such a difficult question to answer, you know. But I can guarantee you some few things. First of all, if you are a doctor and you're going to work on a cruise ship, you will never have to share your room with somebody else all right so if that's any um, comfort know that you know you will always have your own room and your room will be rather comfortable you know on most cruise ships you will have either a window like a full window or portholes like i have in, in in my cabin here right now on these cruise ships i'm in the ground floor deck zero on some other cruise ships i will be up in deck five right so even where you are depends from cruise ships to cruise ships so you see these are all the differences that 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 you know you might um, observe when you join um, a cruise line company you know within the same cruise line different types of ships and every ship has a different layout from a different class of ship so my advice to you is if you choose to work as a cruise ship doctor during your interview inquire about accommodation ask them what kind of accommodation um, am i going to get and then your medical director will then explain to you um, the kind of accommodation you will have and then if you're happy with what your medical director tells you then you can decide yes i'll come or no that's not good enough for me 
right so yeah that's it uh, i hope that this answers your question um, otherwise i mean apart from the room that i've just sh shown you um, we have um, a hotel steward a cabin steward right uh, all offices have a cabin steward and th that's a person that comes and cleans your room every day so your cabin steward comes every morning cleans up your room makes up your bed vacuums the carpet takes your uniform and personal clothes to the laundry and then brings them back the following day washed and ironed All right now I would advise you not to give your valued personal items, personal clothes, to your cabin steward to have it laundered. Because the laundry that are being used are huge commercial industrial land, um, and washing machines and dryers. And your valued piece of item, piece of clothing, you know, might be coming back a little bit shorter, smaller than it used to be. <laughs> you know, so what I do myself is uh, I give my uniforms and my scrubs to be washed and ironed every day. But my personal items, you know, my valued, prized possessions, you know, um, I wash them myself. So I go to the laundry myself. You know, there are laundries around the ship for crew and for guests. And then I just do my laundry and, 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 and drying myself, you know. And then I only give my washed personal clothes to be ironed, to pressed, you know. That way I know that, you know, my, uh, my personal clothes are always uh, well done, you know. Uh, and they're not going to come back damaged or a little bit shorter. Um, you know, because of the industrial uh, um, machines, right? So yes, you have a cabin steward and that cabin steward will do everything that needs to be done for you. And yeah, basically that's it, you know. And then, uh, yeah, I've showed you the, the computer, right? Uh, you've got free internet, excluding social medias, of course. Um, but you can buy some, some, some Wi-Fi if you need to be on a restricted sites like, um, I don't know, YouTube, um, Facebook, if that's your thing, or, or stuff like that, you know? Um, crew Wi-Fi is very expensive, so I don't usually use it, you know? I usually wait when we are in a port of call, and then I will use the Wi-Fi in the country where I am, All right? All right. So that's it for accommodation. I hope I've answered some of your questions. Cheers.